During the First World War, aviation was just coming of age. Bombers and fighter planes existed, but the bulk of the fighting was left to infantrymen. Crowded in muddy trenches, crouching beneath the cruel volley of gunfire, which cut down the soldiers with a savage regularity. The memories of such brutality were searing, and in its wake, as the years progressed, technology advanced, militaries increasingly turned their eyes to the skies. In 1934, the United States Army Air Corps issued a challenge to the country's top aircraft manufacturers. They wanted a modern, long-range heavy bomber. And it wasn't long before Boeing delivered with what was then called the Model 299. It was a formidable all-metal Titan, wielding a bright sheen. It took flight for the first time on July 28, 1935. A reporter on site remarked that it looked like a flying fortress. The nickname stuck. The flying fortresses, the pioneer four-motored bomber in the air since 1935. Steamroller construction, weight about 25 tons, speed better than 300 miles an hour, range 2,100 miles. Initially, the U.S. Army Air Corps ordered 13. Improvements were made over the next few years, and the bomber was officially designated as the B-17. Production accelerated steadily. There were over 500 B-17s by the fall of 1941, a number that would soon grow by more than six-fold. We interrupt this broadcast and bring you this important bulletin from the United Press. We are now in this war. We're all in it, all the way. Every single man, woman, and child is a partner in the most tremendous undertaking of our American history. As America entered the fray, the B-17 was mass produced and launched into combat. Today we have an enemy target. Gentlemen, this is the real thing. But in the early goings, the bombers struggled against Nazi Germany's Luftwaffe. The B-17's armaments were lacking, with little to defend against head-on attacks. Throughout 1942, the B-17 went through several rounds of modifications, but its true potential wouldn't be realized until late 1943 when the U.S. Army Air Corps introduced the P-51 Mustang. With P-51s as escorts, offering coverage for entire bombing raids, the B-17 was able to penetrate deep into German territory. It became a terror, and soon the air war began to take a turn. The B-17 made its devastating mark, pummeling oil factories, rail lines, and airfields, crippling Germany's offensive operations. Thousands of B-17s would see action in the skies over Europe. They were a stalwart weapon of the war, becoming a legend of the sky, a symbol of American strength, at a time when the world needed it more than ever. A leading player in the only outcome deemed acceptable for the Allied powers. Absolute victory. <laughs> 